Hi everyone, welcome to this video on solving simultaneous equations using the algebraic method. Now we've already looked at how we can use a graphical method to solve a system of equations like this. Now we're going to look and see how we can do this algebraically. And there's a little technique that we need to use so that we can do the solution algebraically. Okay? So the question is, solve this system of equations and we've got 4x plus 2y is 14. 2x minus 2y is 4. So we can't solve just using our traditional algebra methods because we've got two unknowns, we've got y and x, but we've also got two equations. Okay? And remember the y value is going to be the same in both of these and the same here as well. Right? This is going to be difficult to do. We could do it by trial and error, but it would take us ages. So this method is called the elimination method because what we want to do is we want to get rid of one of the unknowns. And in this case, we're going to concentrate on getting rid of the y term, or the term that's in the middle here, okay? And this is how we do it. So, we need to set up almost like an upstairs, downstairs sum that you used to do in primary school, okay? With our equations. Watch. So, we we'll use a big one, right? So here we go. So we're going to copy this down, and then, I'm going to draw a line like that, and we're going to make an upstairs, downstairs sum. Now, in order for this to eliminate, if we look at the same number, the same coefficient of 2 before the y in both cases, but in this case it's plus 2y and in this case it's minus 2y. Watch this, this is clever, right? If we put a plus sign here and we add these together, so if we do 2y add negative 2y, what do we get? We get 0, okay? So that means that that would eliminate this. So watch, let's do it to every other term. Now, different to uh, upstairs, downstairs sums, you don't go from right to left. You go from left to right for these, okay? So we go 4x and 2x is 6x. We go 2y add negative 2y is 0. So we're just going to leave that blank just now. And 14 add 4 is 18. Okay, so this kind of setup allows us to get to a really simple equation that's going to relate these two and allow us to get x out again, okay? So x then is going to be equal to 3. Because obviously we do 18 divided by 6, so that's 3. So I'm assuming you can do that one in your head, okay? So we've got x. This is only half the story because we now need to get what y is as well. So what we need to do is we're going to substitute y, sorry, substitute for y. So we're going to write down, we're going to substitute x equals 3 into, and we're going to pick our equation that we were given at the top here, so it's 4x plus 2y equals 14. So we know what x is, we know half of this, so we're kind of halfway there, and we can substitute x is 3 into this equation, and then we only have one unknown, so we can solve for it. So we have 4 times 3 plus 2y equals 14, that's 12, so 12 plus 2y 2y 14, bring that over, take away 12, I'm running out of board, so 2y is 2, so then y is equal to 1. Okay, so our solution for this set of simultaneous equations, our system, is x equals 3 and y equals 1. And that's it. Okay, let me go through that again because that's quite complex, especially at the beginning. Okay, so we start off with this question, solve the system of equations. We have our two equations here, 4x plus 2y is 14, 2x minus 2y is 4. Now remember what you can do, if you use Desmos, that graphing calculator software that I showed you in class, you can actually graph these two and see where they intersect and I bet you it will be coordinate 3, 1. Okay, I bet you, try it and see. Right, so... It's kind of a weird setup because you're setting up equations like sums. So once you go over the weirdness of this, then the technique works really well, the method works well. So we set up a bunk bed sum or an upstairs downstairs sum, I can't remember what you call them now. Lots of different names, but you know what I mean. Um, if we're just adding two numbers, so draw a line underneath and add the equations like they were just numbers. Okay. And what this does is, really cleverly, is this allows us to go 2y plus minus 2y or negative 2y. And that gives us zero, so that means that the y terms are eliminated, because you've got 2y and you're taking away 2y, so there's nothing left. So this is eliminated. 
If the y term is eliminated, that means we only have one unknown, one number, so we can solve that. Okay? So 6x equals 18, we solve for 3, and then it's simply a case of substitution of x equals 3 into our equation to get y equals 1. Okay, and how do we pick which equation we, we use? We could use either one, but we pick the one that we think is easiest. And I pick that one because this second one here has got a negative in it. And this is all positive and the numbers are kind of nice. So this one has got a negative in it. So I pick the top one to substitute into. So you pick one of the equations you were given in the first place to sub back into. Okay, so I hope that's made some sense. Um, we're going to try this tomorrow in class, we're going to try some uh, examples of this in class tomorrow so we can really get it and look at some of the little differences that happen when you have different numbers in there. Okay, but if we can make sure we get a copy of that in our notes jotter, try the quiz as well please, it should be above me this time, uh, so make sure you do that and we'll see you in class tomorrow. Okay.